नमस्कार माई नेम इज सुदशील घोष एंड आई एम टीचिंग टिंकर कैड ऑन यूट्यूब टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कन्फिगरिंग डिस्प्ले डिवाइसेज फॉर द डिस्प्ले डिवाइस वी विल यूज द एल सी डी ओके सो लेट एस यूज द एल सी डी स्क्रीन एंड वी विल स्टार्ट हियर सो हियर वी हैव आवर टिंकर कैड डैशबोर्ड एंड वील गो एंड क्रिएट आर न्यू सर्किट now here we see for doing the connections we will need this particular device here and we will also require the arduino uno and for display we will need the lcd 16 by 2 and this lcd 16 by 2 is going to help me display my data onto the screen so this is a display device it is 16 by 2 it says that me 16 by 2 means in one row there are 16 characters and it has got two rows to facilitate the space we will rotate these breadboard and the arduino uno okay we will rotate this and we have been able to place and position them like this so first of all what we'll do is we'll connect our vcc power supply and our ground to these various channels so you see we have the ground here we'll connect the ground here and we'll take the power supply from 5 volt here and we'll go here come here and we'll connect the power supply here All right so as we can see the ground is connected to this row of the breadboard and the power supply is connected to this row of the breadboard so let us color as per we we follow certain notation and based on our notation we will convert this into colors there you are so the ground circuit is colored black and the power supply circuit is colored red okay now what we have to do is connect the lcd screen to the arduino board right now there is no connection as you can see and we cannot connect it here because these are all internally connected we cannot connect here these are all internally connected the best place is to connect here all right so if you zoom into the lcd screen here right now we have taken this version of the lcd that is lcd with i2c okay now with i2c there will be only four pins that we need to handle if we do not take the i2c there will be many other pins to handle anyhow let us we are considering right now the connections with the i2c where there will be only four pins to handle we can see there is gnd there is vcc there is sda and there is scl okay so we haven't seen the sda and scl right beforehand so now if you if you look at the arduino board there is this sda pin here and there is this scl pin here so to facilitate let us do the connection like this okay now in order to connect this ground pin to the ground okay the ground is connected here we just take a wire from here and connect to this particular column so this ground is connected in order to connect to the vcc this is the power line as we have seen earlier this is the vcc the connection is made so let us do one thing we are going to color it red in color the vcc is colored red now the sda and the scl have to be connected so where is the sda coming from so this is the scl okay so this scl should be connected to the scl line all right so we are going here and we have connected this to the scl line so let us make it beautiful there you are okay now we need one connection from the sda line okay so this is your sda pin of the arduino board we take from here and then we connect it to the sda pin okay so this 
these are the connections to facilitate we will need a different color here let us color this purple and let us color this some other color say for example turquoise okay so the connections are made now let us now zoom out and you see the connections are now made we have been able to complete the connections now we are now going to code okay so how to code very simple the coding part is very simple so in order to code this particular thing we first of all need to understand the coding structure of the arduino okay so right now we are not going to throw these things out we have been practicing throwing these things out so this is what we call as on start and this is forever let us have a look at the coding structure in embedded c which is followed in arduino coding so let us go and look at the coding structure now in the coding structure we see that there is the setup part where the pin mode is defined so pin mode is led built in and output this pin mode structure is given here and there is a looping structure which is given here so this particular loop executes for infinity times until we stop the simulation or the power is cut off this is the setup that means where we introduce what is going to happen with our devices connected to the arduino okay so we will see this code again after we complete some configurations here so we'll go back into the block coding mechanism and we will move this part whatever is here into the trash can so if you see the code right now what happens is we have nothing we have the setup as blank and we have the loop as blank no problem now okay the first thing that we have to do we have to initialize we have to tell the arduino initialize the lcd so we have to use there is this configure lcd here okay so this is one there is only one lcd connected to the arduino board right now so there is only one lcd here so you have to say configure lcd one okay now what happens is since we are connecting this lcd to with via the i2c connection this these configurations are there now when you buy the lcd device from the market you would need to find out these configuration numbers and those configuration numbers can be found out by taking the help of circuit uh, diagrams which are available publicly on the internet so you have to find out those configuration numbers right now whatever configuration we have done in tinkercad that is going to be followed so this is type this is type here and apart from type it gives me another thing which is called the address the type and the address are exactly the same here we'll see here whatever the type is and whatever the address the same type and address are in the code we have to configure we have to make that sure fine so this typing and addressing we have configured the led lcd right now lcd display is now configured what we can do other than this is switch on the backlight so this lcd device has something called a backlight so let us not switch on the backlight first what we'll do is just print to the lcd okay so there is a print to lcd here and the print to lcd command is given here all right it says print to lcd hello world now there will be some some events happening and let us observe those events carefully what happens here and let us observe those events okay so let us start the simulation and see what happens we start the simulation so something like this hello world hello world hello world keeps on coming here and we are expecting one would expect that there will be one hello world but here there is hello world hello world coming here so what is happening here why is this output like this so what we have to do here is after hello world is printed once okay we have to wait for one second clear the screen and then again print hello world to the screen 
so what we have to do wait one second we will wait for one second you can wait for half a second also but we will wait for one second and then we will clear the screen of the LCD so you can do also do that clear the screen so how do we do the clearing of the screen okay so here it is on LCD 1 it is here it is written on LCD 1 clear the screen okay so we have we can do a lot of other things here so but on LCD 1 we will clear the screen so it will one print hello world it will wait for one second and then it will clear the screen and then print hello world again then clear the scene again and all that type of thing will happen so if we start the simulation now if you start the simulation now there will be only one hello world printed and it will be printed again and again okay so this is what is happening right now okay it is printing again and again now so we have been able to configure the lcd screen with the arduino now what we are going to do is yesterday we saw one connection where we use the temperature sensor so what we'll do is we'll take the signal from the temperature sensor and we'll echo that to the lcd screen okay so in the first line we will say showing the temperature and in the next line we will say the temperature is so and so okay so let us do that let us do that okay fine so how will we how are we going to do that we have to first of all connect the temperature sensor so let us do the connection of the temperature sensor again we have taken the temperature sensor if we actually see the temperature sensor it contains three pins one is called power the second one is called V out and the third one is called the ground so we have to connect the power to the power pin and all that so we will do that again we will connect it to the power pin we will rotate this okay and we will connect the temperature sensor here what we have to do is connect this to the power pin so look this is power we have to connect it to the power line so where is the power line connected it is here so we are going to connect it to the power line okay and we are going to connect it to power line so this is going to be red in color okay now we are going to connect this to the ground so this is going to be connected to the ground line and this has to be a black in color no problem and the middle pin has to be connected to the a0 there you are so we have to read things from a0 here come here come here come here and we are going to connect it to the a0 line or the signal line or the viewart line we have been able to connect this and since this is a signal wire we are going to color this brown fine so it is getting the signal from this particular pin and now the signal will be redirected to the LCD so what we have to do in the first step first line of the LCD we are going to show we are going to show showing the temperature or current temperature let us suppose we are going to write current temperature so how do I do that if I want current temperature written there so we are going to type current temperature okay if I do that what happens if you run the code so on the screen on the screen it will show current temperature okay some current temperature is shown now on the next line we want to show the temperature on the next line okay so how do I do that so remember if we have to go to the next line so in order to go to the next line we will have to set the position so this is set position okay so set position of cursor there you go to it says column 0 column 0 is the first column and it says row 0 row 0 is the first row so we will say row 1 okay and now we are going to read from the temperature sensor and then 
we are going to print it. So if I want to read something from the sensor, so the sensible method is to create a variable, set the variable value to the temperature sensor and then we set the variable to the temperature sensor value and then we will print the value, we will echo the value. Okay. So we will first of all create the variable. So this is the temp variable. Okay. So we will put the temp variable here. So here we are going to say set temp to. We are going to take an input. So what we are going to do read temperature sensor on pin A0. Okay. So now we are going to do that. So the temperature value is read. Now once with the temperature value is read, what we have to do, we are, we have printed current temperature on the first line. We have set the position of the next cursor to the second line in the first column. And now, and this particular position, we want to print the temperature. So again, we have to go and print to LCD. So the print to LCD, so what we have to print to LCD, the value of temp. There you go. We will take the value of temp here and we will print the value of temp. Once we have done this, once we have done this, remember, if you run now, again the same problem will happen. Let us see what is happening. Start the simulation. Okay. So now look here current temperature was supposed to be printed in the first line but again this current temperature is appearing in the second line we don't want that output so what we have to do essentially we we'll stop the simulation and what we have to do at this particular point we are going to clear the screen we are going to clear the screen wait for some time let us suppose for example we'll wait for some time to so wait for say one second or maybe half a second we will write 0.5, we will wait for half a second, print the value of temperature. So we have printed the value of temperature, wait for half a second and then we are going to clear the screen. So how to do that output? So we are going to clear the screen. How can I do that? On LCD, one clear the screen. So what we have done here? Is first of all, let us revise what we have done here. We have on the startup, we have configured the LCD. Now, in the loop section, we are printing on the first line current temperature. We are waiting for one second. Then we have set the position to the second row. Then we have read the temperature value and we are now printing the temperature value. And then we are waiting for some time and then we are clearing the screen. We need to clear the screen. If we don't clear the screen, otherwise uh, the screen output will be all cluttered. So let us start the simulation now. Okay. So it shows the current temperature. Now what is happening is how can I improvise this particular output? How can I improvise this particular output? We don't want this current temperature to be blinking like this. Suppose we don't want that to happen. Let us stop the simulation now. What we are going to do is we are going to take this particular thing out. And then in this, we are going to take this thing out. We are going to separate this from here. And in the setup side, we will say print to LCD. Okay, we will not even wait for one second. And what we are going to do is, we are going to insert this particular thing into here. Right? If I clear the screen, then it will become a problem because this particular current temperature will be erased. So we are not going to clear the screen. What instead what we can do is we are going to set the position of LCD again. Okay. 
we will print a sequence of spaces and there we will refresh the temperature what we are going to do that here so let us try to take out this particular part okay so now what we are going to do is we are we have of course we have to set the position no problem we have to read the temperature we have to really read the temperature no problem there so we we will read the temperature we will read the temperature then we have to go to the lcd and print to the temperature no problem there so we are printing the temperature now here after we have printed the temperature we are going to wait for some time okay fine we are going to wait for some time so that sometime is the refresh time we are going to wait for some time now at this particular point we are going to set the position of the lcd back to so that position of one lcd so go to row number 1 okay the row number 1 is the second row it starts counting from 0 so row number 1 is the second row and then we are going to print a sequence of spaces in the second row and then okay so let if i want to print a sequence of spaces we have to go here print to lcd 1 okay and instead of hello world we will print a stay sequence of spaces a lot of spaces we are going to print okay and then once we have printed a lot of spaces what we are going to do now we are going to distrash this here and then it will refresh and refresh and refresh and then it will print the temperature without a lot much blinking here so let us now see the way the temperature is refreshed here it is saying current temperature 24 and the 24 is blinking all right okay so you can see that the temperature we can see the temperature is being refreshed every 1 second or every 0.5 second we can see this thing is happening okay the blinking is not happening with the first line but the blinking is happening with the second line so easily we have been able to configure our lcd to print the value of temperature we will stop the simulation now if you are repeating viewer of this channel please so uh, please share the link of this channel or this uh, video with the new viewers if you are a new viewer please like share and subscribe thank you for attending my session